Hey guys, what's going on? And today it's Hunter's Bass Fishing with Hunter. And today we're going to be doing a review of the XPS. It's an Academy brand, so Academy Sports and Outdoors, so you can't get them anywhere else but Academy. So let's uh let's get into the review so for the quality of these baits they are great the hooks come the hooks on the crankbaits come great hooks on the frogs uh i have their crankbaits and frogs but um if i had some advice do not buy their hooks you can buy like 40 hooks for five dollars but the hooks are not like i'd rather get four dollar hooks from vmc or my I would rather get four dollars hooks from VMC that are good, and I get five quality hooks that I can actually use and won't break off and won't bend, because um, the hooks just aren't good for those. But let's go to the uh, positive. So I'll show you. I have a uh, I have the square bill, the rattle trap, the frog, and their uh, medium diver crankbait. So. If I can say anything, I have them all right here. So let's start on the square build crankbaits. So here are the full size of square build crankbaits. Those are the bills. The quality, they're made with trocar hooks. So I think you know the quality. Uh, I have not took this fishing, or yeah, I fished it at Eagle Mountain Lake in Azle, Texas. And it's a bluegill pattern. It did very good. Um, just, you know thrown around rocks and stuff. So here's our second lure. It's the smaller, smaller uh, uh, square bill crankbait. And the hooks, you know, you always know when the hooks are good whenever they really dig into your fingernail. Yeah, good sticky, sticky sharp hooks. And uh, yeah, this is like a royal purple color. And uh, the bigger one is only three nine nine. Smaller one is two nine nine. But the smaller one, it's like check out these rattles. Then the big one, these rattles are just great. So you could buy for the price of these two, three dollars and two dollars. You could buy one Strike King Square Bill for five dollars. Although I don't buy like. It's Strike King's just a name brand, and I'm not bashing on Strike King. They make very great stuff, but I'm just saying this Strike King is not a name brand. Or, or Strike King is a name brand. So I'm sorry. So people think it's just like great, like it's not. And then moving on to the uh, or try out one more square wheel crankbait. It's like a uh, like a shark roof. Uh, Definitely the paint job on these, definitely great. Uh, my dad has this bait for a couple of years now, uh, and it's held up great. He's thrown it ten times. The the bill's like all jacked up. And if I could give you a tip on your crankbaits, there would be so much line on this uh, split, this uh, line tie right here. If we haven't cut it off, because what that does is that line rubs up against your line and it can create a line phrase which if you get say a nice three four five pounder on there it can you'll break off and you'll lose your crankbait as well so it's like a positive you lose a great fish big fish but um and you lose your crankbait so yeah that's why we haven't used it in a while though I'd say we haven't used it in about four or five months uh we used it in february probably the last time i used it so enough with that then here's their medium diver crankbait i only have one of these again my dad's had it for a couple of years thrown it uh he's only thrown it a couple times i've thrown it once i don't know if he's thrown it at all but i've thrown it once and look at the bill it's not even torn up or anything my face looks weird Okay, the bill's not even torn up or anything, so uh, I might be doing a giveaway at some point. Um, so if you want to see my giveaway, go ahead. Now I have four, uh, 
four um lipless crankbaits. I'll go over the colors, see if I've fished them, see if I caught fish on them. So here's one I got an Academy Sports and Outdoor gift card, and I wanted to get a lipless crankbait. So this was about three ninety nine, four ninety nine, maybe. Uh, their highest crankbait's about five ninety nine, probably. And uh, this is a gold pattern. I've caught, I've got one. I've got one fish to the boat and then it came off, but it's really good. Um, my dad bought this one. We have not used it. Uh, I've used it once, but didn't catch anything on it. And, guys, the thing about crankbaits is if I throw about 15 to 20 casts, or if I throw about 5 to 10 casts and I don't catch fish, I'm looking to put the crankbait down. So, crankbaits aren't, I gotta get better at them, I've never, I've, uh, I've only caught one fish on a crankbait, but, um, or no, two, because I've caught one on a score before, but I fish them, I try to get better, but you always keep trying and never give up, so, that's one thing I've learned. This one, have not used it at all, don't even know what color it is, just like a red eye shad, JK, uh, but red eye shad is really good, but these have red eyes. <laughs> Here's a red crawl. Uh, bait, right here, red call, lipless. Don't, I can't give you any feedback about some of these lures, but, um, guys, let me tell you a little story about this right here. So, I'm friends with Tim Davis. He's been on Honey Hole, Bill Wilcox's TV show, and he took me fishing to this pond once, and we caught about 20, 30 bass, um, right before they start, stopped biting. I pulled, I whipped out my frog, and I'd been fishing it like all day, and I got like four blow-ups, and he, t Tim was just like, you gotta wait a couple seconds before, you, you gotta wait at least three to four seconds, so whenever they bite that bait, wait three or four seconds, and I just keep missing them, and I had one like halfway to the boat, and just came off, and that's why, you, I mean, frogs are hard to get hook sets, so frogs are my favorite lure of all time, and these are definitely, this one, so we got into the mouth of this creek, right? And I pull up, I, I get my frog out, and Tim's like, and I was like, Tim's like, cast that frog right up there next to that tree. And then I cast it right there. And my dad had the, he got it on video. I, I don't know if I can get the whole fight on video, but I might be able to send it to me. But I was like, my first frog fish was my PB. And that's how you know you were meant to be a frog fisherman, folks. First frog fish is your PB. And I just freaked out. I was like, oh my gosh. I didn't start screaming and yelling like I can else out because that's, we don't do that. Um, yeah, but these, these are really good, um, especially in, um, when you're just in open water or, and there's a little bit of lily pads, you can throw them over that, you know, pop them around, uh, but I, I, just myself, I prefer these, uh, these non-popping ones. They're just, they're great. And the good thing about these frogs, you get a non-popper and a popper, three ninety nine. I think the juniors are like two dollars, three dollars, no, one dollar, one ninety nine. I think the juniors are. But they have this in a lot of different color patterns: uh, black frog, uh, natural frog, and natural green. Uh, Green Mamba, what in the heck? <laughs> um, so that's about all on this frog right here. So I'll see y'all guys later, and uh, peace out. Always, <laughs> JK. So uh, let me bring you to 